Hey puzzle friends, how's it going? Welcome back, or if you're new, I'm Juby and welcome to my channel. This is a place for anyone who loves puzzles, whether you're new to puzzling or you consider yourself an expert. Today, I'm gonna to be doing my first ever 3D puzzle. This is the 540 Colors Sphere from The Playgroup. Uh, basically, this puzzle caught my eye with its beautiful rainbow gradient, so I figured what better choice than this as my first 3D puzzle. So in a minute, I'm going to unbox it and we'll see what we're working with and what the pieces are like. Okay, so let's open her up. Okay, so, oh, okay. So we've got a bag here with all the pieces, which look like kind of like little, smaller than regular size puzzle pieces. And of course they look slightly, uh, I guess, curved. Of course, since we're doing a sphere, we'll open that up in a sec. And it looks like we get a, it looks like a little plate, but it's a little base to put this on when you're finished. So that's pretty cool. So yeah, this is just hard plastic. So yeah, let's open up the pieces and have a look. All right, so let's have a closer look at these pieces. So they, they definitely feel nice and make a very nice uh, ASMR kind of sound. Um, they're quite a bit smaller than your sort of average 1000 piece size piece, I guess. Um, and they're made from a sort of very sturdy, hard plastic. Um, they come in some really pretty colors too. So like a lot of these, it's a lot of cute, pretty sort of pastel shades in here which so kind of makes me think of candy i mean there's some brighter ones too so very candy like um, of course they're not flat so like they kind of have a bit of a curve each piece has a subtle slight curve in how it's made i mean obviously because we're doing a sphere so we can't really have flat pieces when doing that um, and also the piece shape as well has like a slight sort of most of them, well, there's a few that are like, I guess more of a classic rectangle, but most have like this sort of bit of a tilt or a tilt or a slight kind of curve to them. So yeah, so that's pretty, pretty interesting, pretty different. Um, so I'm definitely looking forward to putting this together. Uh, in terms of how I'm gonna sort of approach that, when I usually do rainbow gradient puzzles, I tend to kind of sort them into like the blues, the pinks, uh, or the color groups that sort of are gonna to go together, that are gonna appear in sections together. So I'm probably gonna try and do that somewhat with this. It's a little different since it's a sphere, so the colors will all keep connecting together. So I'm not sure how that's gonna play into it, but it'll be interesting to see if my normal kind of approach to puzzling a rainbow gradient is gonna work with this. So yeah, let's try that out and see how we go.
Well, that was definitely a fun and challenging puzzle to do. Um, yeah, I really like how it's turned out. It super, looks super cool, very unique. Um, definitely don't have anything like this and I'm like, I think I'm gonna put it on display, that's for sure. Um, yeah, it's quite, quite solid, like it's not fragile at all. Um, I don't know how you'd undo it. I guess you'd have to push really hard on a section or like hammer it or something. Um, but yeah, not planning to undo it anytime soon, so that's fine. Um, yeah, it, I think that my technique of like sort of sorting the colors into piles worked for the most part. Um, even though I didn't really start off using them, it still helped. Um, so yeah, I think you can apply your same gradient technique to this. Um, kind of work the same way, which is what I expected. Um, one th thing that was interesting is that each piece seems to be a unique color. Like there's no two pieces that share the same color. There's some that are similar, but everything is like quite different. Um, but it was quite tricky. Like for a 540 piece puzzle, this was surprisingly challenging um, for a couple of reasons. Like one, these sort of like greeny yellows, there wasn't a lot of contrast. So, and then after staring at this for, for quite a while, my eyes just found it really tiring and hard to tell some colors sections apart. Like just especially with the, I find greens are always a bit tricky in um, like, especially lime green. I find that always a bit tricky in gradients. So I found that the same here. Maybe my eyes find it harder to tell that color apart, I guess. Um, so that was, you know, a bit challenging. And then the other thing that was interesting was um, some other sections have quite a contrast between the piece and the piece next to it. And so sometimes I'd be like, like especially around here, I'd be looking for a piece that was closer in color and sort of skimming over like the lighter pieces, not thinking you'd be that. And then finally I tried it and realized, oh, it was that. Um, it just sort of surprised me a bit where, yeah, just, high contrast in some areas and then low contrast in others. Um, and sort of to do with that, I actually had a few times where there were like false fits. So I thought actually the shapes would be, being irregular might be a bit more unique, um, but that wasn't exactly the case. There's like quite a few that are the same uh, shape and fit. And yeah, I definitely had issues where pieces perfectly fit in, but then after puzzling a bit more, I was like, oh, actually that really doesn't go in that section. It tended to happen like in sections that were close-ish in color or tone to each other, uh, especially around the darker areas. Like even now, I'm not 100% sure. There's a couple of pieces where I'm like, not 100% sure they're in the right spot, but they fit and well, they're not moving now, are they? So, but that's okay. I'll just hide them on the bottom. No one will ever find out. But for the most part, I'm pretty sure everything's in the right position. So just look at the nice, pretty area, ignore the bottom. Don't look at that. Um, yeah, so surprisingly challenging, but, but yeah, still a lot of fun, very satisfying. Pieces just fit pretty nicely together. Um, a few sort of stick out a little bit, but I don't know, it kind of makes it look cool and textured. Um, yeah, would I do a 3D puzzle again? Well, I really enjoyed this. So I think it really just depends on what the subject matter is. Like, you know, this is also quite unique in that it's a sphere. So I'm sure like lots of other 3D puzzles are not gonna be exactly like this. Um, you know, and I haven't really seen any for now that I've been super interested in. Like those 3D building puzzles don't really catch my eye that much. It's not really, really my kind of thing, but you know, I'd certainly be open to it if I saw something that was pretty and looked really cool. So yeah. Um, so I guess, you know, let me know in the comments, have you done this particular puzzle or would you be keen to do it? Do you do other 3D puzzles? And you know, what did you think of this? Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you can keep up to date with all things puzzles. And for even more puzzling mm -hmm. content, you can check me out over on Instagram at jigsaw underscore Thanks so much and see you next time. Bye.